Hello and welcome to the 15th video in this series programming a chess engine JavaScript. Before I get going with this, I forgot to add in main, in the init from video 9 onwards, the initialization call to initialize the 120 and 64 arrays, which you remember from defs.h. Use these arrays like so. I've added that into all the code and updated the zip files that are online for download, so sorry about that. I only discovered it in this video because uh, it was only used until now inside the reset board function here and it actually ended up uh, not having an effect bizarrely by this value being undefined. So sorry about that and this video we're going to look at updating the piece lists. So it's the last thing we need to do. Uh, we filled every other piece of detail on the board. We simply need now to update the piece lists. And I've got some code in here from a previous attempt at this video. In fact, believe it or not, I've actually been doing this video now for two and a half hours and something goes wrong every single time. So this hopefully will be the last time, but I've forgotten to remove the comment code I made in the last video. So I'm going to talk through it. You remember that we've got a material array, which will store the total value of the pieces by color. The piece number, uh, which will store index by piece, the number of that piece. And then we've got our piece list. I wanted to iterate for the last time or go through for the last time is simply how the indexing works the piece list so it's absolutely clear. We take the piece multiplied by 10 and add the piece number. That isn't the total numbers of the piece, that's the piece index number. So say we had four black pawns, so our piece num array for black pawn would return a four. To get the squares the black pawns are on, we would loop from naught to three setting num0 to 3 and each index would be the black pawn multiplied by 10 so 7, 7 multiplied by 10 plus the num from 0 to 3 so that would give us indexes of 70, 71, 72 and 73 and the square would simply then be gameboard.plist at index 70 at index 71 and so on so that's how the piece list indexing works and I'll leave that there for now the only other thing is is doing this piece multiplied by 10 plus the piece number means typing a little bit too much text for my liking and I wanted to shorten it a little bit so I have added in or made a sort of little utility function much like a macro in, in C in a similar vein to these two here and that's simply called piece index taking the piece and the piece number and returning the piece multiplied by 10 plus the piece number so now let's create the function at last to fill our piece list and we'll put it above reset board. I'll just scroll up a bit. And I'm going to paste the whole function in and then talk through the function here. The code's available for download anyway. And the way it works is we loop through each of the squares on the board using our, this time just 64 squares and use the square 120 macro to get the 120 base square. And this is where I found the error earlier for not in initializing the arrays. Get the piece, and if the piece isn't empty, then we need its color because we're going to set in, increment the material value for that particular color by this piece's value. You remember in defs.h somewhere we have the values here of the pieces. And then what we do is how I've described above, we take the index of that particular piece on that particular, uh, sorry, that particular piece and for that for the current number of pieces which if we've just gone into the array for that piece type will be a zero and we set that to square and then increment the piece number so next time round for that piece type will then be one index further on and that fills up our piece list and the last thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to double check everything is actually working okay because like I said how many problems you can have with a very simple piece of code is unbelievable but let's put piece and piece and on and I know this won't print characters or anything to the screen but at least it'll give us an idea with things are working relatively okay and save that and the last thing we need to do there is update list material of course it needs to go at the bottom of the FEN parsing so we actually update the lists and one more thing I've just seen which I really don't like at all which I'm going to change now and hope things still work afterwards is the piece list material and piece num arrays are zeroed inside reset board? Well, that's not very good because that means we need to call reset board 
bit each, each time we want to call this. So I've cut those out and I'm going to paste those into the top of here. So I'll save and save. And let's call up the browser and refresh. And OK. So it looks like it's finding our pieces. We know 21 is A1. Yes, good. So it looks like it's finding the pieces on the correct squares. Good. So that's it then for this video. And in the next video, we're going to add in another little utility function just to print these piece lists properly to the screen with the squares in algebraic format. So A1, etc., which means we'll be adding a print square function just so that we can have something to debug the piece lists a little bit. So thanks very much for watching. Sorry about the error again. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.